The fourth Friday in April has been proclaimed as Children's Memorial Day and is a statewide effort that is led by the Office of Child Abuse Prevention. The children's flag is flown on this day to remember children whose lives were cut short due to child abuse and neglect. Raising awareness around child abuse prevention is more important than ever. Families need support right now, and we all need to work together to empower and uplift them. All children deserve the opportunity to be raised in a healthy, nurturing home environment free from abuse and neglect. Nationally, approximately 1,750 children died from neglect in 2020. Close to 50% of those deaths were children under the age of one. And just on a personal note, as a public school teacher, one of the things that really happened during COVID is people failed to report child abuse and neglect because they weren't in the classrooms, they weren't out, they were in the home. And teachers and many officials in schools are mandated reporters. So very unfortunately, many of these abuse cases were not reported. Even meeting with the DA, it was a challenge, but it's a day we have to continue to take to make sure that we protect our children. In 2009, the pinwheel became the national awareness symbol. The pinwheel is considered cheerful and moving symbol of childhood. Children and Family Services is doing our part to provide interventions that help support families based on their needs and lack of resources. We partner with other county departments such as Transitional Assistance and Department of Behavioral Health, but we also need your help. We need your help by being the eyes and ears of the children in our communities. If you suspect that a child is being abused, please call the hotline or call 211. And we hope that if there is a need and there is a desire to get some resources, you please reach out to us. Um, we are here to help. There's a lot of county programs, a lot of preventative um, programs available to be able to fight and battle against the whole issue with child abuse and neglect. And I'm glad that the County of San Bernardino invited the spiritual element of this community to come and pray and to invoke the presence of God to help us. We need wisdom to fight this problem. We need wisdom to overcome it. Natural means alone are not going to take care of it. So the faith-based community is standing behind the County of San Bernardino and the state of California. In this moment to raise this flag, we pray the blessings of the Lord on this moment and more will become aware of it and less harm will come to children as we come up with methods and ideas to protect our children.